What's up guys? Graham here. As you can see by the utter confusion on my face at the beginning of this Warfront, I did not expect to get the new Warfront in my first queue of the day. I believe it was the first queue. I might have had one other Warfront before this, but really it was a huge surprise. I was not sure what to expect at all. I seen somebody mount up right at the beginning. So I knew that you can mount up in this warfront, but all I seen was open area and I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is bad for melee. But as you can see, I start to kill people and then it starts to ring true into my head that the reduction in healing is indeed in effect and it is annihilation time. You will start to see some high kill warfronts, I believe. So this was pretty nice and as you can see I started getting low in health and there's healers on our side as well and stuff like that so I have to save myself there. It's all about playing better now. You cannot go in there and just face roll everybody and expect to survive even with a healer. You are going to die in those situations so it's all about playing a little bit better now and not being able to just jump right into the enemy lines and think you're going to kill everybody. But I guess if you get enough healing, you can probably still do that, but that's going to put a lot of effort into keeping you alive. But now it seems that with the reduction healing, it's going to be so much more fun. You're not going to have physicians that are standing right in your face while everybody else hits them. Because in the past, it was always where a physician could charge right into the entire enemy team and just jump around and heal themselves. And the enemy team couldn't bring them down a lot of times. I've seen a Sharna do it. I've seen a bunch of people do that crap. And it's like, come on on man you know this is stupid whenever they can just run right into the entire enemy team and do not they do not care at all because they're going to stay alive that is crazy to me well now i don't think that's going to happen if you have a physician healer run right into the enemy team now they are probably going to go down extremely fast and that is how it should be they should be able to heal up their team some but it shouldn't be such a huge game changer like it was just recently and now, if a physician gets into my face, they better hope that they're a good physician because I'm going to be pouring on the damage onto them and they are not going to be able to survive unless they are playing decently. And that's how it should be. If I'm playing bad, I deserve to die. As you can see right there, I kind of got into the enemy team, kind of testing the grounds. And yeah, I took a lot of damage. I had to run away. But the thing is, is I'm smart enough to where I will run away. And I'm not going to blame my healers if I stayed in there and died. Because they cannot save you in those situations now. You cannot just sit there and hit the enemies and go, wow, I didn't get any heals. It's all these guys' fault. It's none of my fault. They should have healed me. No, that's not the situation now. You are going to die if you stay in the enemy team like that. You've got to be able to play a little bit smarter, get in and get out, and... <laughs> I'm sure some of you guys that watch this channel are thinking, yeah, that's why you, you, you play a tank class in Warfronts. No, do not ever play a tank class in Warfronts. Don't do, just don't do it. it. It's a terrible idea, and I know I'm going to get some down votes on this video because I say that because some of you guys are running tank specs, and anytime I say, you know, don't do it, you guys are down, down voting my videos, but... I understand it. You you guys believe that that's a good thing and I highly disagree with it because basically you are counting on the enemy team to not know what they're doing at all. And even if a couple of people start, you know, hit you all warfront, those couple of people are not smart enough to hit somebody else and they hit you all warfront and you're actually being useful as a tank you're still not being that useful. You're not killing anybody or anything. And you could have kept those two people alive being a healer. Or you could have been killing a bunch of the enemies if you would have been a good DPS. 
it, playing a tank is a terrible idea and I do not recommend anybody to do it. Guys, just don't do it. But you guys don't always listen to me anyway. So as you can see, I'm getting jumped right here. I, I didn't play smart enough there. I, I didn't see my team die that fast. So I should have been a little more aware and realized that whenever they went down, I need to get out of there. Although the enemy team probably could have still chased me down. It was uh, a situation that I should have played a little bit better. So I deserved the death. And that's the way it should be. I, I keep saying this because PvP is going towards the direction that it should be. Now, is it going to be this great at level 65 i don't know i just know that i'm getting into these war fronts right whenever nightmare tide hit and it is a lot of fun right now as you can see people are still playing a lot of pyro specs and that's really going to be a a big deal in this particular war front because it's so open it's like a white fall steps to where range classes are just supreme in this one and yeah, I can run around and I can butcher people like I, you know, I'm used to doing. That's what I do. I I run at people and I bring them down, and that's that's just the way it is. But in this particular warfront, range classes are going to be a little bit better than me. And I got into this warfront uh, late, so my kills wasn't real high or anything like that. But still, range classes are going to beat me out in this one probably. Um, I believe in this particular Warfront, uh, uh, Medusa is in this one. So that's a very good player. And playing a Pyro range class, it, he's going to top me in kills probably. I don't think I've ever been in a Warfront where Medusa topped me in kills before. But, you know, Pyro is really strong right now. And this is the perfect Warfront for it. So if he got in right at the beginning of the match, yeah, he's going to completely demolish me in, in kills here. I think he even goes more than twice as many kills as I got, even though I was pretty much top kills other than him. But, you know, Pyro is just really strong and behind the hands of a, a very good player such as Medusa, it, that's just the way it's going to go. And... Also, with all the warrior stuff that's going on, it's kind of expected that I'm not going to be able to uh, top kills all the time. But we're going to put forth a dang good effort to make sure it happens from now on. Uh, I just wanted to post this video because I knew it was the first time I was doing this Warfront and I wanted to show off uh, my first experience of it. I wish I could have had the volume and everything on for you guys, but I had visitors at my house so I was talking to them all the while I was fighting. So that took a little bit of my attention off the Warfront, but still I did rather well. And I'm wondering what you guys are thinking of all these PvP changes. I, I seen some people uh, some people message me in the game and they were saying that they were having a lot harder time bringing down people because of the the health point increase. But I don't know. I, I don't see it that way. I think the health point increase is really nice, but it's not really making that big of a difference so far that I've seen because the reduction in healing just makes up for it. You can still annihilate everybody, even with the increased hit points. As you can see, everybody we're running towards, they're going down. And I'm taking a good, a good amount of damage anytime I get into the enemy lines. As you can see, I'm starting to fight these guys. You'll start seeing some enemies come down those steps and I get targeted. Well, look at my hit points. They are going down really fast. And I've got to get out of that situation. I kind of linger in there a little bit longer than I, I normally would. But I had my big heel up. So I, I was playing with fire and enjoying the heat. And <laughs> I start pulling people in. There are uh, some a few people that are a little more known. Uh, Death's there. He was uh, messaging me all during the Warfront. Wondering when this was going to be posted. And I told him, in one of the upcoming days, guy, okay, I'll make sure that it's posted and I'll point you out in it. So there he is. Unfortunately, I had to point him out whenever he died because he popped up on my screen. It made me think of him right then. But he he's a good player. And he he's a, he's a fun time to be with anytime he's on my team. So as you can see, there's Sparn in front of me. I, I believe I've seen him on the forums posting one of... One of 
I think it was the Paladin build that I, I'm running in this particular Warfront. He posted the same Paladin build, basically, but it was a little bit worse, in my opinion, because he he kind of divided up the, the points, uh, a couple of the points, out of the Warlord tree, I believe it was, and that made it to where you didn't get your second Surge and uh, stuff like that, and it, it just... It, that second surge was so huge of a surge to have it's like plus 25 percent damage increases your attack power huge amounts and you know he he put points into tempest so he could get skyfall it was like no don't do that man i know you want a range finisher but that is a terrible idea man but he ended up posting on the forums and uh, i don't think it was too popular but um, I'm not too sure how good of a player he is normally. He seems, seems to be, uh, running into me a few times. I think he dies a whole bunch during this war front, but then again, they were on the losing team. So that's kind of expected sometimes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this war front and enjoyed my thoughts on, uh, week one PVP because I'm not sure how it's going to be at in game. It might be a, a huge catastrophe like I predicted in the past. As you can see, I went nine and one, I believe. So yeah, Medusa beat me up pretty good. But as usual, my name is Grim. I'll see you next time.